After coaching thousands of you from all over the globe, I've come to realize that 90% of us are searching for love backwards. It's what makes the difference between those who find love with ease and those of us who struggle so hard to find what we're looking for or even anything close. I was in the second group back in my dating days, finding myself in the most non-committal relationships with emotionally unavailable men over and over again that always ended the same way with me heartbroken. It wasn't until I realized what I'm about to share with you that I finally found the love that I'd always wanted in my life. And now I want to help you to do the same. I've tried to break this down for you in a way that helps you clearly see what's happening so that you can easily see this pattern and put it into words so you can finally do something about it. I've got those words for you now. And what it comes down to is that most of us who are struggling so hard with meeting the right guy or the right people or the right job or the right whatever it is for you. We're all struggling with the same thing. We're on the wrong search or more specifically, we're searching for love backwards. I know this and I see it so clearly now because I spent far too long doing the same thing. We're doing what everyone else is doing and what we've been told is how we go about it. Online dating, meeting new people, expanding our social circles, exploring new interests and things we're passionate about in an effort to widen our reach when it comes to finding more eligible men and people in general to connect with. Now, all of these are great to do and and we should be doing these. These are all helpful, but we're missing something huge here. Subconsciously, we are not looking for a guy. We're not looking for any man. We're looking for our worth. We can't find the right guy for who we are right now because who we are right now isn't going to be the same person that we are when we find our worth. See, the most tragic part of loving the wrong people for us, the ones who don't love us back or love us the way we love them, is that we take this wrong person and we stake our worth on them. Until they love us, we're unlovable. Until they accept us, we're unacceptable. We tie our worth to someone who has no special claim to determine our worthiness. In fact, we pick the very ones who are so incapable of loving anyone like us at all. Can you see this? It's never, ever about a guy. It's never about winning someone's love. It is always about proving something about ourselves that we feel we have to prove. That's a made-up story that someone put on us, not anything to do with real love. Take this guy that you're holding to this task that he is utterly, utterly incapable of and never signed up for in the first place. Let him be just an ordinary guy. Give yourself back your worth, your lovability, your more than acceptable status on your own. It was never about him, but always about what we needed him to be. If you don't need him or any man, to validate you like this. Can you see how much easier this thing, this thing that you've made the great impossible search becomes? Instead, learn to see your true worth without tying it to what another person does or doesn't do with you. That's about them. That's their lens, their own programming. It says nothing about you. How we find our worth is by first finding our people before this romantic partner who's still only a figment of our, of our imagination. The people who cheer you on, the people who love you and accept you for who you really are. Surrounding ourselves with these kinds of people, refusing to have anything to do with the other toxic kinds. We have to change that part first. Now, I've seen the changes that happen firsthand when the women that I coach feel like they're being seen for the first time, when they're loved for the first time by someone, even if it's just me. And that changes everything about how they feel about themselves. I've seen them take that new feeling out into the world and manifest everything that they've been fighting so hard to find before. We're going on the assumption that finding a guy is about somehow searching hard enough or becoming something that we aren't in order to finally get the guy. We're still looking for love by trying to prove ourselves worthy. We're not going into this with the authentic feeling of actually knowing that you're already worthy. Instead, we're choosing men and looking for our worth, both inextricably combined in the same search. But that's going about it all the wrong way. It's completely backwards. If you are gonna find love, you have to first separate the two. They are two such distinct things. 
Prove yourself worthy to the only person that matters, you first, and then open your eyes to find him. Because the guy that you choose when you're still looking to find your worth in another person is simply never ever gonna be the same guy that you would choose when you already realize your worth. And that's why, and it is the only reason why you haven't found each other yet. Now, I also know firsthand that this is so much easier said than done. And I hear you when you say, yeah, Jane, sure, I get this, but it's not exactly easy to do this on my own. If this is where you are, and if you're ready to finally realize your worth and get on the quickest path to having the kind of love that you really want in your life, then watch this video next. It's how you get there. And I'll be there with you every step of the way.